need to stand up to sit on that or step on that now. Because we pull the chain stop route. That's off. correct. Right. But I'd rather you stand up. Okay. And you can hold on to the handrail. Then you've got the two foot pedals. So look at the arrows on the foot pedals. One's going out. The yep. other one is pointed in. Yep. Kind so like we're going to go out and use the, the ball of your foot. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Stop. Now use the other one to pull it up. Okay, great. And great. tap it again and watch the clutch slip. Okay, good. That's by design. Yep. Now, when you get that light fixed, you want to turn it to where it won't get damaged with launching and recovering the anchor. Yep. So you'll take that light and you'll rotate it aft. So that way you'll protect the, uh, the light bulb and also yep. the gears. Aren't the gears bad? Is it the right and left gear that's bad? Correct. Does the up and down gear work? Yes. Okay, so the right and left gear is bad. So we'll get that fixed. Grab it and see if you can turn it with your hand. Don't fight it too much. Gee whiz, okay. Right so we're good for the day. Yeah, okay. And when you're finished <laughs> with your anchor, close the safety covers on the foot pedals and put the safety lanyard on the chain. It doesn't have to go on the chain. It can go on the shackle up there. Okay, so we're good there. Okay. We've got our hose so we can do the anchor wash down after we go out into the river and do that for real. Yeah. And then we've got that bag that goes inside that hole. Yep. Um, we already saw that the chain is bolted to the boat, so we want to change that and put a rope, rope on, on there. That. It's called the bitter end. Yep. So we want to put about 15 feet of rope so that the boat is tied to the anchor, not chained to the anchor. So we can put that bag back in it, put the hose back in it, and we're done here for a while. And 15 feet says you can, once the rope comes up, probably time to stop. Time to stop, and if you have to leave the anchor because it's jammed on a log or a rock. Oh yeah, you can tie it to it. Yeah, do you know how much that stainless steel anchor is worth? Uh -uh. About 800 bucks. Not including the chain. So, painting foot markers on the chain, good idea? Excellent idea. Yeah. Um, as an American, what are the three most popular colors you know in correct order? Red, white, and blue. There you go. And for easy mental math, we like to do 25 feet. So every 25 feet, we will paint a patch of chain that's two feet in length. So you can see it as the anchor handler up here can see it. Yep. And the helmsman up there can see it because oh, yeah, it's two yeah, feet long. Yeah, just done about a quarter of an inch little strip around, but up there you would never seen it. Correct. So if you do red, white, and blue, first one's red, 25 feet, pardon me, 25 feet, then red, 25 feet, then white, 25 feet, then blue, 25 feet, yellow. Because that's my corporate colors. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll it. always think of you. <laughs> sure. And then you start again with red, white, and blue again. So the whole idea about the colors is as the chain is going out, there's red, that's 25. There's white, there's 50. There's blue, there's 75. There's yellow, there's 100. There's red, there's 125. Gotcha. So both of y'all can do your mental math. How much do you need to deploy overboard? Yep. That's one asset. The other asset is when you're pulling it up. So if you're anchoring in about 25, 30 feet of water, which is really deep water to anchor, but when you're in the Tennessee River, that's kind of normal. Uh, when you see red come up on the deck, that means that anchor's 25 feet down. The anchor might be loose. Uh, yeah. So that means the boat is loose. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you got to drive the boat instead of just loiter with the boat. Yep. 
So red, white, blue, and yellow. That's the colors we like. Back to scope. Yeah.